currently on the New Orleans streetcar. I'm currently riding my hoverboard. I'm currently a little baby puppy. I'm currently in a men- I'm currently jumping on the bed even like this. Many strange and disturbing types of comedy can be seen from the video sharing platform TikTok, but none surpass the incredibly ominous, yet surreally humorous tone of the account Mud Consumer. Although many videos from this account may seem like incoherent nonsense, persisting with a similar type of comedy to the less child-friendly segments of Nickelodeon's Spongebob, we can find something far scarier below this uncomfortable surface. Not many are willing to explore this rabbit hole, but the subtle characterization of the mud consumer and his disturbing, trauma-filled world's hidden narrative are more than worthy of exploration and analysis. Our first exposure to the consumer was in April on the Mud Eater account. He was evidently much calmer than the ludicrous, exaggerated character he'd soon become. However, this is the origin point. And outside of the media itself, this was where the character was created by Mud. This page, as a whole, actually being promotion for his music, which fucking slaps. I just got a haircut and I feel very handsome. I know my mother will say the same and I don't care what any of you think. The first video already shows the issues Mud's character who I will simply refer to as Mud or Mud Consumer throughout this video, has with insecurities about his physical appearance as he pesters the viewer about his haircut and who he only values his mother's opinion on it. We see a clear reliance on his parents that will be further developed upon in the future uploads. Now this narrative is presented in an incredibly non-linear manner, so I'm going to present these videos as I perceive them to occur. This includes small bits of information the character lets off within his videos. Starting off, we have the dinosaur video, a fan favourite. Mud discusses how his parents have been playing an intense game of hide and seek, and how he is supposed to find comfort in the fact that the car keys are still in the house, meaning that they have not left him. This shows the living conditions for Mud are incredibly neglectful, this immediately being followed in his perceived order of events by a video in which Mud himself lectures someone small as we look from their shorter point of view. Uh, 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 don't you dare talk back to me. No, 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 no. When mommy is eating her pills, she locks the door for a reason. The next time you come in, make sure you wear Mr. Froggy over your eyes. Now go back to the bathroom! Although a funny video on its own, this is obviously not Mud himself. This is clearly Mud reliving a moment with his father from a far more powerful point of view. Perhaps for comfort, or perhaps this is how he himself remembers the event. As his father's face could escape his memory, therefore his mind fills in the gaps and portrays his father with his own face. The significance of this will be brought back shortly. The way his father lectures him about wearing his frog outfit is clearly in reference to the dinosaur onesie. However, Due to the neglectful nature of his father, he can't even determine what kind of pyjamas his son wears, as he is not involved in his life. Shortly following this, we know that his father was apprehended in some way, as an accident is mentioned on several occasions. Oh my god! <laughs> Such a big slice of pizza. Um, pizza's, pizza's one of my favourite foods. Um, when the cops were arresting my father when I was very young, I remember they, they gave me a big slice of pie and they said, just eat up, don't worry about it. Just eat up. <laughs> no, no, you can't tell me to do things anymore, especially after daddy's little accident. <laughs> this accident clearly had a toll on Mud's family, as he no longer lives by his mother's rules. This is perhaps out of undeserved admiration for his father, or simply a coping mechanism, as his mother did nothing to help him during the abuse he may have suffered. When finally freed from the man, he may push all the blame onto his mother for not letting the freedom occur sooner. What did the father do? There are several mentions of a father, but the most notable example arises within the video titled Bountiful Meal. 
Father, oh Father, thank you for returning with my oh bountiful meal. What gracious gift will you present me with tonight? <gasps> oh, my magic poo poo flakes! It helps me go when my bum bum says no. Yow! Yeah. Although this medicine clearly would be ineffective for mud, this may possibly be in reference to the food that his father did not provide him. Mud asks to be fed, but is instead given medication for food to exit his body. This could prove to be something rather disturbing, as the possibility of Mud being starved when he was younger arises. Perhaps his family lived in poor conditions, although the starving can easily be disputed since the mother was home too. Instead, what we can derive from this clip is that Mud may have been given some sort of substance by his father, perhaps for some sick entertainment or just to shut him up. A sedative or something. Either way, the evidence of his mother being neglectful and father being abusive grows irrefutably stronger. Now that Mud has lost his father, what happens next? We cannot be totally sure, but once Mud seemingly grows older, we see the conditions he lives in on his own and the lifestyle he indulges in. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the dance of the greasy serpent. As I cover myself in this bottle of organic extra virgin Spanish olive oil, I will transform into a beautiful serpent. By doing this dance, I will become the snake that has always been and the mysterious snake that never was. That's what the man who smokes magic crystals down by the bus stop told me when he sold me this bottle for a hundred dollars. Mud is clearly using substances as a relief from his past experiences, which is why he encounters these dangerous men in the streets, such as the one mentioned within this video. Although not totally clear, this could also explain the video's falling, which slowly twists into something far more surreal and strange. Recently, I've been hearing noises in the wee hours of the night that have been making me pee pee the bed! So I finally mustered up the courage to bust this shoddy down and find out what's going on in here! Oh my god! It's Peter Griffin! No! 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 Help! Help! No! Mud is evidently scared of succumbing to his childish nature. He seems incredibly upset by the inclination that such small things as bumps in the night could disrupt his bodily fluids, i.e. piss. This could be a reflection of Mud's need to grow stronger, following what happened to him as a child. He wants to grow up and be strong as fast as possible, perhaps why he resorted to the substance abuse, something glorified heavily within media as cool and mature. This grows more bizarre as we see Mud becoming incredibly submissive to a master figure. Master? Master? Is it finally time for me to eat my dinner? Oh no, master! Last time I ate this one, I had the blood poopy! Okay, okay! <laughs> it's, it's really good, thank you! <laughs> Who is he? We have no real clue. But what matters is why Mud is doing this to himself which can be easily and reasonably explained. If Mud was abused as a child, then among many other symptoms of abuse, he would have had an incredibly low confidence, and as a result, may enjoy the sexual gratification of degrading language and behaviours, trapping himself within this sort of relationship to experience the same kind of abusive attention he received as a child, or because he simply doesn't respect himself to believe he deserves any better. Among this era of Mud, and the slowly worsening mental health and drug-induced disassociation, all sadly being the result of abuse, we see something incredibly familiar. Something disturbing. Oh, finally! Will you please let me inside? It's oh so cold and I'm so fucking wet! No, 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 wait, please, I'll take anything! Oh my god, an Italian pancake? Well, I can't say no to that! <laughs> Pizza. Not only pizza, pepperoni pizza, almost identical to the kind he has when discussing the accident with his father, and he eats it in the exact same way. What the hell does this mean? He is trapped outside and not allowed inside the house. He begs the person to let him in, stating he would do anything, and for this obedience, he is gifted with pizza. Pizza. Perhaps this is Mud be living the night his father was arrested. He may have not remembered what happened correctly and mistook who gave him the pizza, as in this video, the person who seems too malicious to be the police. It is possible that when the police arrived, they gave Mud the whole pizza pie, 
as he was evidently starved and in need of food, using the food in the house as a way to assist the ill child in his time of need. There are many more things to discuss about Mud Consumer, but this at least covers what appears to be his backstory of sorts. Why he resides within this surrealist horror landscape filled with Peter Griffin's and young Sheldon's bazinga. Before discussing what all this means, however, there are two important factors left. Saucy Jimbo, and the fact that I, the supreme fucking master of sucking fat juicy cock and wasting hours of my life that should have went towards studying, still haven't figured out. No, that's not what I asked for! That's L'Oreal Paris Locket Weather Control Hairspray! That's the stuff that killed Saucy Jimbo! Uh, hey, look over there! You just made me lose Saucy Jimbo's ashes! That's not how we would have wanted it! Saucy Jimbo could be someone that died when Mud was younger, or, more likely, is Mud himself. In the second video, we see that Saucy Jimbo's ashes aren't even there. There is only Mud. Ashes themselves are supposed to be spread in a place of sentimentality for the deceased, or kept in an urn. So where is this place? Well, we've seen it on at least one other occasion, in which Mud finds a bottle of juice on the beach he's been playing Lost at Sea on. This juice is the kind you would drink with your friends when you were younger, which, alongside the Ashes evidence, could show that Mud finds this place to be comforting. Saucy Jimbo could simply represent the idealistic childhood Mud never got to experience, and the fact that his ashes were not allowed to reside within this comforting place shows that the idealism of Saucy Jimbo is something unrealistic. On top of this, the first mention of Saucy Jimbo resides within a dealing of some sort. The first where Mud rejects the offer of the dealer. Mud states that the substance is what killed Saucy Jimbo, and by this he could mean that this path is what disrupted his own life and sent him on this isolated, cold path he traverses now. Saucy Jimbo is not a friend of Mud. He's both the life he wanted and through his death, the life he can no longer have. Symbolism is no stranger to Mud, as in the video Loving Papa, we see him attempting to be a parent and destroying his child, just as his father had done. So clearly the deep subtext of a TikTok account named after fucking mud is both apparent and ongoing. We're going to enter a dangerous zone of massive dick energy, so I suggest you cover whatever genitals you have in a mountain of tissues as you will ejaculate instantly from the sheer presence of this immense figure. I'm currently in my alpha form. Now this doesn't happen often, but it's one of the most dangerous forms you can encounter me in. You look a little roughed up, kid. See you later. <laughs> Mud's alpha form is something I have yet to comprehend, as it is so powerful I literally made my shit retract from my asshole and enter my bloodstream. Overexposure to this form is incredibly dangerous, so I do not suggest that you become a Mud lore master like myself, purely for your own safety and social life. I'd say this form enters at least multi-dimensional levels of power and could defeat the master character mentioned earlier with relative ease. Why he hasn't used this form since baffles me, but it could be the case that he develops this form later in the timeline. So instead of understanding the end point, let us return to the current situation. What does the ongoing state of dreamlike videos represent? I believe Mud is trapped within his own mind as a result of substance abuse, his past trauma, and severe anxiety and poor mental health he has mentioned on several occasions. He is in horrible living conditions with abusive, controlling people, but is so drugged up he convinces himself that everything going on is fine. Mud Consumer as a whole could be a commentary on substance abuse and its horrific side effects. Although you may feel high and can avoid all that's disturbed you throughout your life, in reality, all you're doing is consuming harmful, toxic, and horrifically unhealthy mud. And you're worth more than that kind of schlock. Now, let's discuss the significance of Chuck Fuck, an incredible use of sibling rhyming.